Joining me now is Missouri Senator Josh Hawley, who was at today's hearing. Senator, are we actually going to see uh, some bipartisan agreement on fixing this for the sake of the kids? Well, if we can't agree on this, I don't know what we can't agree on, Laura. This ought to be easy. And here's the thing. This whistleblower today said that he presented evidence that one in eight girls, and I, when I say girls, I mean, I mean kids, between the ages of 13 and 15, so we're talking about young girls now, one in eight in the last seven days on Instagram has been propositioned sexually. Almost 30% of girls between 13 and 15 have been propositioned in the last two weeks or more. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. He presented those numbers to Mark Zuckerberg. And what did Mark Zuckerberg do? Nothing. Didn't even reply. But yet, Laura, they've got time to work with the Biden administration yeah. to censor posts on COVID vaccine efficacy or if you want to organize your school board and ask about what are your kids being taught. Oh, no, no. Then your post get taken down. But meanwhile, people are running pedophile rings on Instagram. Now, the whistleblower, Senator, also raised a really important point about the culture in the company itself in Menlo Park. Watch this. It seems to me that the company culture is one of see no evil, hear no evil. We don't want to understand what people are experiencing, and we we're not willing to invest in that and the tools that will help. Now, is there anything Congress can do to root out what this is obviously predatory behavior that's happening regularly online that could be dealt with, but I guess it's a hands-off, I shouldn't say hands-off, that's a bad uh, metaphor to use here, but uh, you know, the company doesn't want to do anything about it. So what can be done? Well, I tell you what we can do. We can let parents sue. It ought to be that if your kid gets sexually propositioned on Instagram or any of these social media platforms, you ought to be able to hold them accountable. And if they violate their terms of service, you ought to be able to hold them accountable. Or if your kid experiences or is exposed to uh, sexual abuse material, uh, pornography, child porn, you ought to be able to sue them. Right now, Laura, you can't do any of that. These companies are immune because Congress has given them special immunity. No more. Let's let parents sue and protect their kids. That would get their attention real fast. Yeah, well, that's why they spend all that money on lobbying and so much money uh, in contributions to candidates on Capitol Hill. That uh, keeps them quiet. Senator, not you, though. Thank you.